Good morning. This is a video for the families of juniors at Decatur High School in Mr. Abernathy's English Language Arts class. I never know where to look with my eyes. Do I look at myself? Do I look at the camera? What would you do? Let me know by doing the assignment if you're a student. Um, so activity for this week. Uh, students last week wrote some did, some didn't. Um, in our class newspaper. Um, so this week we're gonna keep running with um, kind of the newspaper theme. Uh, students are going to read a short article um, and then they're going to read two letters to the editor, editor responding to that article. Then students are going to read another article and write their own letter to the editor about that article. We'll give students resources about what the heck a letter to the editor is. Um, and then they'll post all that on Canvas, and I'll walk you through that. If you desire, um, we have a question about uh, talking to your scholar. So go ahead and talk about the article and provide a statement on the issue uh, the article presents uh, that your student could use as evidence in a letter to the editor. So you're basically giving your, your child, your student, a quote. Uh, they could use in their own article. So example, if the issue is about um, maybe a local restaurant is closing, you as an adult give your opinion on that and then your child is actually able to use that as evidence uh, in their opinion-based letter to the editor. So let's take a look at our Canvas site. So it looks normal, normal. Um, let's click on the discussion. When it gets published, it'll be up here. So here we go. We de define a letter to the editor, and then we break down the actual assignment. Uh, students are going to read this article about Seattle City streets closing down. Um, and then they're going to read two people's responses to the letter. Um, both of them are more on the positive side, but I think if your student tries they could figure out maybe what are some of the negative repercussions of closing a lot of these neighborhood streets in a major city um, and then your student is going to be reading this short article on whether we should go to a year-long um, school calendar so like the majority of europe and i think the world besides the united states who built our school year around farming um, your student will give their opinion on the year-long calendar. Um, so they will write their letter to the editor. If they have no idea what one looks like, we give a link. Um, and it's pretty straightforward. It walks your students page through um, kind of what each part of the newspaper or letter to the editor should be. Um, they save their position, they talk about why they care about it, um, why it's important to them, and then what should actually happen and what would happen if nothing's happened, if nothing happens. So that's your student's task for this week. They'll upload it here. What I would actually love, almost instead of your student doing it this week's task, if they haven't done last week's task, I think it's a little bit more fun um, because we get to work with one another as students. So let's double check that now that it's part way through the week and we can see what's been accomplished. So let's look at this week's task here. Um, students are looking at, oh, that was two weeks ago. We ran through May so quickly. Here we go, here's the present week. So students uh, understood the difference between an article in editorial and a political cartoon or a satirical comic, whatever uh, the topic is, doesn't really matter. And then your student is picking one of those three things. And remember, this is last week, so we're kind of past it, but I think it's more fun. Um, then they're picking a topic. Uh, so here's a list of topics from the Tacoma News Tribune. And they're actually writing their own editorial, you know, so opinion piece, what their personal opinion is on the topic an article, so informational, or a comic about one of these topics that affects them locally, right? So let's just take a look at what some students have decided to write so far. 
um, to maybe give your students some examples. So this looks pretty good. Um, we have a couple comics. I've color coded the comics in blue, um, mostly all COVID related. Um, we have somewhat updated the weather and put a picture of a guinea pig. We have a student who uh, wrote about what it's like to um, eat in federal way, right? So how do we get takeout? Um, I made a crossword puzzle uh, themed around Decatur High School. Um, a student talked about some of the project uh, projects they've been doing around the house. Um, here's my example post from early on. Uh, someone wrote their top five quarantine meals, right? So what are you eating, right? Uh, newspapers have a food and drink section in them. So really the world is your oyster. So they just click on this link to Padlet, they cl click down here um, and they're able to basically put anything they want, right? They could do a voice recording if they wanna do like a radio segment, um, they could take pictures, they could upload files if they wanted to write a cool essay on something local to them. So I think that's even more fun. So I would be totally happy if your students did that instead. Um, or both, why not both? What else are they doing? Unless they're working, good for them if they're working as long as they're staying safe. Um, so that's the work for this week. Who knows what the weeks in the future will look like. Um, our office hours on Monday will be um, rescheduled due to the holiday. It is Memorial Day on Monday. So I'll let you know next week when we're gonna reschedule that. I need to take the time and look at when other teachers have their office hours and we'll go from there. And I'll let you know probably Monday or Tuesday when that's gonna happen, if it does happen. Um, other than that, I hope everyone is staying safe and find some time uh, for peace and to be uh, without anxiety for a little bit. That's my wish for you.